morning guys, welcome back to Derby Coy. Uh, it's the weekend. I'm just in the bunker doing my checks. It's early morning because uh, I'm off out today. A um, little bit of a road trip out and I'm going to drop a fish off. So, um, don't know what recording I'll get done today, if any. But I'll um, do my stuff here and I'll be off on the, the road trip. And um, I should catch you at some point later. So, uh, until then, see you soon. Okay guys, we've arrived from our road trip um, to drop off the fish. I wonder if you can guess where I am, see if we can give you a bit of a clue. Like that one. Like that one. And this one. We're at Twisty Koi. <laughs> and there he is, the man himself. <laughs> and um, got the Kujaku, the Akoya, the Akoya, the Aoki. Aoki. I keep saying it, Aoki Kujaku, which I brought down for Sue. Didn't measure it, but there she is, floating in the bag. That stands a beautiful, beautiful Kujaku. Put some size on as well. So yeah, we're here at Twisted Towers. Um, gonna go and have a coffee and a chat. So I'll catch you in a little bit. And it's been to put in the Aoki Jacko at 30 cm. 30 cm. Into the main pond. Into its new home. There he is down there. Saying hello to his new friends. Fabulous. Okay, guys, we're in what Vince calls the long block, which is a uh, is, uh, new tank, big long tank. Just looking at what we've got in here. Got some beauties in here as well. Uh, I might flip and resume my eyes. <laughs> Thinks the lights in here. Yeah, it's the LED, the LED light in here. <laughs> so we're just going through some here. Uh, there's a couple we've got at the moment. That one's going to have so much development and changing. He said that's, and he said that was completely black or really dark when he had it originally. Yeah, that, so it's, uh, that's, only, that's only been in here a couple of weeks. This one, and I bought that at the Secret Sankey uh, event, and it was it was a lot darker than that. And like I say, usually things like achievers, when uh, the water temperature comes up, they usually get darker. This one's got lighter, <laughs> so. Yeah, it's going to have a lot of changing left to do. Put this one back in. Let them out. And it's the one from your spawn, is it? Yeah, this is the Chagoy from my spawn. And this one's uh, the camera, which gives the sound. It's a, a Twisted Koi original, that one is. Very light Chagoy from his own spawning. But some great scalation on it. And as I was saying, as that grows and that scale ocean spreads out, it's going to be an absolute beauty. See, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on Kev because Kev's got my new nets, but Kev keeps forgetting to bring them round. <laughs> Kev, pull your finger out, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I need my net. Trying to find because I know you, I know you like them, but again, it's another gin ring one. No, it wasn't that one I was after, but it's a saggy, it, isn't it? that one is a nice gin ring. That one is. Can I saga? Yeah. Can I saga? So I'm still in the net. That's a beautiful little gin ring, saggy. Oh, it's just lovely little saga. That came from uh, New Forest, Koi Farm. Yeah, that loops and darkens upon the top yeah. of your beauty, for, wouldn't it? For me, it was the uniformity of the, uh, the gin ring itself. If you look down, you can see it's, yeah. it's symmetrical either side. 
and it's got a real nice divide between the blue robin on the top and the white. We've got a nice three step. Yeah. Yeah, that's from uh, our Ricky at New Forest Croy. And the one I'm trying to find for you is also from New Forest Croy. Mark Gardner Kikisui. Is this the Mark Gardner Kikisui? Absolutely it's beautiful. The luster on that. Beautiful, and Vincent said this is uh, who is Ren Ren Rennie's. Rennie's from uh, Seskus Koi Pond. Vince is looking out after for them, so looking yeah. after it for them. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, uh, While they're doing their new pond builds, that's a Mark Gardner original. That is. That is beautiful. Stunning fish. Beautiful fish. I was just saying that I haven't seen a, a camera or a photograph that do fish justice. So all these pictures you see. I look absolutely stunning on camera, just imagine how they look in real life. Oh, it, that's going to be a cracking fish. Like I say, get that out natural sun. Oh yeah, I mean, when you when you, you pop it in the light, it pops straight away. Yeah. Get a natural sun, that bend will darken up, that would be beautiful. Oh yes. So, there you go, Rennie, doing well, eating well. Here we have Deutsch Yamatanishki, so basically a uh, Deutsch metallic sankey. And this one came from Ricky's personal pond. Ricky um, and New Forest Coin. Yeah. yeah. And it's got perfect gin ring zipper. Look underneath the dorsal. Literally, the only scales you've got is under the dorsal. And as soon as that light hits it, that gin ring just pops. So this is this is a, a new line that Ricky's Ricky's starting. The skin condition on it, the luster is unreal. Lovely, isn't it? Uh, that came, like I say, that came from Ricky's personal pond. The pond that gets fed the Mega Manga mix, which I've got in a pot over there. <laughs> in there. And these are Vince's Goshki mix. Well, and in here you've got Goshki, you've got the, the YouTube community choice, which was Goshki cross uh, Red Kajaku, <laughs> and then you've also got in here a list of other spawnings that we did. All, well, pretty much, I've got something from every spawning we did when we did the hand spawning at New Forest. So, yeah, I've got a right mixture in here. There's Shisui Cross, Shisui and Kimonru. There's Hitsuri's with Benny Kikikuyu's. Yeah, so we're going to get some really interesting fish. But when you first look, you go look at that first for a first, for first fish. Look at the pattern coming on that. <laughs> that's that's Kajaku. It's a real nice pattern on that. Oh, the sun's gone now, look, you can see it. You see the brakes down the side? Yeah. But then um, we've got itty bitty sperms. We've got a few with fat bellies. That one there will be a cull, that big one. You see how he's got short, short and stubby, short and stubby gill plates, stubby little peck fins. You certainly have got a mix in there, haven't you? Oh yeah. Oh, 
be interesting to see how these turn out. What you get out of them. That one's quite interesting. You can see very paint, faint markings going across the back of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's just one little scoop with the big net. You'll find these these ones, this one here, that come from the, uh, the YouTuber's Cross, and so did this one here. Now the one, the one special thing with the uh, the community choice is the fact that when they hatched, Ricky was saying when you when you have a fry hatch, irrespective of whether it's Kahaku. Shirotsuri, Chagoy, Sankey, when they hatch, they hatch as a one base colour. So you'll get white, yellow, black. The, 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 the community choice cross actually came out two tons at hatch. So he had yellow on the front and black on the back. And he said in all the time he's been working at New Frogs Koi, he's never seen a dual colour hatching. So, yeah, we are really, really uh, interested and intrigued on now uh, what we're going to get from quite a few of them. So how do you think you've got in here then from total? Well, roughly? In total, we started off with, I think it was 278. And then when we came back from New Forest, I counted into the fish tank, I think it was a thousand one hundred. is white white mm. and that's got a metallic luster so you you, you could be looking at Tancho Kajaku there it stands a chance that's a colour on the head yeah and then you've got you can spot them straight away these are from the, uh, the community choice so these are the ones that, that hatched two times. Let's like say the first time he's, he's ever seen it happen. But the fact that you can you can start to see patterns on them, even at even at this size, yeah, you can start to see the breaks in the pattern. Definitely right. got a mixed bag there. It's oh yeah, there, so interesting to see how these there is there is a real mixed bag of uh, variety and size. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Is this one here? Oh, it's very interesting, isn't it? You see this one? That'll end up pure matsuba or gin matsuba. To me, that looks like a metallic luster when you look at it. Mm. So that. You're looking at Gin Matsuba. Right, I'm really intrigued with the pattern on I was just this one. Saying, that one is really intriguing. And this one here. Yeah, that one's that one more for me. Very intriguing on that one. There's two that will definitely be kept on to grow on. That one, especially for me. Something more about that one than that one. Well, if, you look, if you look at this one closely though, you can see a, a very flowery pattern going down the back. Yeah. As in the yellow, you see the yellow breaking mm -hmm. going down the back. So yeah, that one. I'm intrigued with that one, but that one catches me more. Especially when you, you look at look at it from the side on as well. You see what I mean? If you look at that one side on, on both sides, yeah. he is pretty, but he's not as 
not as balanced as this one. Can you see what I mean? Yeah. Pattern wise. But yeah, they're two that would go straight into the grill and on tank. Once I get my grill. So I'll, I'll probably end up doing this on a, on a daily basis then. And it'll just be a case of anything that's anything that I think is worth keeping, then it goes over there and the rest will stay in here until it gets to a point where I've got to make a decision they become Scooby Snacks or I uh, dry them out, grind them up and put them in with a Mega Munga Mix. And it's what they do over in Europe, it's what they do in Japan, you know, nothing, gets, protein, isn't nothing it, I gets wasted, yeah. you know, dry it out, blitz it up in a processor, mix it in with yeah. your powdered food. Well, you find fish meal and stuff in your fish food anyway. Oh, yeah, that's exactly it's, it. You know. How do you think they get fish meal? Yeah. You know, on an industrial scale, they literally, they just chuck a fish in a mincer thing and it just chops it up into little bits, they dry it out and then it gets added to your fertilizer. Mm. So, but yeah, it's exciting times ahead because there is some uh, definite nice fish in there. 100% some beauties in so, there. Yeah. Very intriguing to see how they turn out. And we've still got we still got one more set of spawnings to do at New Forest. Yeah. So yeah, there is still the the possibility of more fry coming to fifty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Not more tanks. <laughs> no, no, no. <clears throat> Always room for more. Once I've got the tank show sorted out, I've then got my rotation. Can you see what I mean? Yeah. Because anything that's really nice will go into there but anything that's in here that's not good enough to go in there but big enough not to go down the bottom drain then they will then go from there into there yeah. and then anything from there will be moved on definite interesting times ahead oh yes hi guys just got back wow what a long day fabulous time um left the house at about half past seven this morning it's now 20 to 10. But I had an absolutely fantastic time down at uh, Vince's. I want to say a massive thank you to Vince and to Sufi Hospitality again. I had an absolutely fabulous time. Um, I did say I wouldn't get that much filming done. Don't know how much you did, to be honest. I was too busy nabbing. We were too busy talking. Uh, and I kept saying, oh, I should have filmed that. Oh, I should have filmed that. <laughs> so yeah, didn't get as much filming done as I'd liked or I should have done. Uh, but I say a massive thank you to Vincent Sue. Um, now, didn't come back empty handed. Um, a few little things from Vincent Sue. Let's get the right way around. There we go. And you can see that. My uh, twisted koi key ring. Um, now, something I'm very pleased about. Um, and Graham. Now Graham, when he's not watching, we're not watching Koi on YouTube. Um, he likes to watch. He's into all this uh, street art and stuff like that. And one of the things that he does is the um, spray painting art, which I know Vince does. So when we went down there, Vince, grab us this a twisty Koi original. Graham absolutely loves this this type of stuff. He really does like this stuff. So uh, got that one firstly, and then Vince gave us this one. He said this was his uh, very, very first one he ever did. What's that one? His very first attempt he did. Um, so it's just going to be put in a frame, and that one's going to go up as well. So a massive thank you for them. I know Graham loves those. Um, but he also gave me. Some of this. This is if we make it this right, is Mega Monger Mix. And it has got an unusual smell, but I don't know what the smell is that it reminds me of. But I, I quite like it. It's a weird smell. But I don't know what I don't know why. It reminds me of something. Um, now in my last video I did say um, somebody offered me a filter which would have been absolutely perfect for um, splitting these tanks up, been absolutely perfect, but I couldn't get the van to go and pick it up because I wouldn't have got what I had in the car. Um, 
So when I went to down to Vince's, until I can get some sorted and perfect for what I need, Vince gave me this. He did mention it some time ago, he said he had one, and I completely forgot about it really. So, uh, a little pressure filter, which is going to be absolutely perfect for this, so I can put another pump into here and I can run it through this, back up through the shower. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Just what I need for now, it will be perfect. Now, the only other thing I came back with, um, I'll come back with some fish. <laughs> and I want to know about, um, one was a Kikikuru, I believe. I think that's right, I'm sure that's what you said, Vince. You'll correct me if I'm wrong. Um, which is actually what Graham actually seen when he had them in his fry in the um, fish tank. Um, it's an unusual one and Graham picked it up a lot of look at that so that's in here I've got that one and another one uh, they're, they're floating at the moment so I'm gonna give them half an hour uh, I'll get them in the bowl um, and we can have a look at what it is have a look at both of them but the one I'm really pleased about really really pleased about um, so it's now quarter to ten if you see it's that going dark the lights are on <laughs> So uh, I'll come back in about half an hour and uh, I'll have it in a bowl. So I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, there we go. There's the uh, one that Graham wanted and seen. I don't know how much you can see in this lot with these uh, artificial lights. But the scales down, the linear line on that one there. Absolutely fantastic. And he's just got the one red spot on the side on there that's the uh, Kikikiru and the other one is a Tansho Goshki yeah as you know you may know Goshki is my favorite variety but Tansho Goshki is a beautiful beautiful bright spot on him so this you can't really see in this light so I'm gonna let these uh, settle in for a couple of days and then I'll um, bowl them back up and I'll give them a measure and take some pictures of them for my records and you can see it in a better light on them but the still linear scales down the linear line on that one absolutely fabulous and I don't get much luck with Goshki so fingers crossed that one stays as it should be so let me get these in their new home. Okay, so they are now in their new home, settling in. I said I'll have them back out in a few days. Um, give them a look over, get some better pictures of them and uh, measure them up. Um, again, massive thank you to Vince and Sue for your hospitality. Um, absolutely fantastic time. So I spent most of the time just talking. Um, too busy nabbing to record too much. <laughs> which is usually the way now uh, the Koi show at Coventry on the 1st and 2nd which is Saturday and Sunday now it's definitely tomorrow this is going out on uh, the Friday uh, definitely the 1st of Ju uh, July and the 2nd of July which is tomorrow and Sunday I think in my last video I put the date right and I made for some reason I said the weekend went in, some people got confused to say it's not this weekend, is it? It's not, no. Um, <laughs> it wasn't last weekend, it's this weekend, the 1st and 2nd of July at Coventry, the National Coin Show. I will be going, I wasn't sure what day I was going on the last video um, due to work, but it looks like I'll be going on the Sunday. So um, if you see me, come over and say hello. Uh, it'd be great to have a chat with you and as I said the first five people to come up to me give Bisley a fuss and say I want a Derby Koi pen can I have a Derby Koi pen I'm only take up the five so come and uh, get a pen yeah so that's it don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that bell for your notifications pop on over to Facebook and Instagram and if you're going to the show on Sunday, I'll see you then. So until then, stay safe. Jobs are good.